welcome to the definitive Just Dance ranking list based solely on my personal values and impressions. Now I love Just Dance and I've been doing a lot of Just Dance recently. And just like everything I really love, I seemingly have very strong opinions about it. And these opinions, sure, they're coming from me, but to me, they feel like they're coming from a truth deep inside of me. So take that as you will. Now I'm not gonna do any of the kids ones because personally I find them very spooky. In fact, I'm not gonna do any spooky ones. I've tested and ranked over 100 dancers. So we're gonna go through them, bottom to top. So let's just dance already. Also, if it wasn't abundantly obvious, I am currently in quarantine. It's good to have a project. So let's start at the bottom, 103, and it's of course mashed potato time. Mashed potato time is great if you want to relive the oppression of women in the 50s with such brilliant dance moves as Churn Butter, Rock Baby, and Wash Window. I feel like they put this one in so that mum or grandma could come in and have a go, but I'm here to tell you what absolutely stinks. You're not dancing, you're just pretending to do work. Next up at 102, we have I Want You Back by the Jackson 5. Look, this one is fine. It's mostly just a Charleston. It feels like a theme and variation on a Charleston. It's simple, it's fun. Coming in at 101 is Big Girl by Mika. This one is a total snore fest. I just watched the video of me dancing to it and I really truly look dead behind the eyes, which is the only way you can possibly feel when you dance this dance. Next up at 100 is Always Look on the Bright Side of Life. I don't know why they added this song. I don't know which demographic is buying this game and dancing to this song. It's pretty boring, but I can imagine getting four Monty Python slash dance lovers together. They could have a nice time. 99, we have Aquarius. Another one I feel like is a mismatch as to who's buying it and who's dancing. I, I imagine this is another one for the mums in the room. Um, I did this one alone, which I highly would not recommend. This one's all about hugging your best friend and dancing with your best friend and being with your best friend. And if you do it alone, boy, do you feel lonely. Next up at 98, we have Barbie Girl. Now I would say Barbie Girl is exactly how you'd expect Barbie Girl to be in a game like this. And I'm here to say, I'm not a fan of it. At 97, we have Bailando. I wrote notes after everyone that I did. And after Bailando, I just wrote, I just don't like this one. <laughs> I just don't like this one. At 96, we have Moves Like Jagger. Once again, I'm just gonna read you the note I wrote uh, straight after I did the dance, which was, I imagine this could be someone's favorite, but not mine, sweetie. Next up, we have our first bang. There are a lot of bang-related songs in Just Dance. There's bang, there's bang bang, there's bang bang bang. Um, and then I believe there are some alternate versions of the previous bangs. This one is bang, and I'd say not a good bang. The thing about Just Dance <laughs> is quite often you'll discover songs specifically in other languages that are really cool. And this song is kind of cool, but not cool enough. And the dance moves, not fun enough. We're at the bottom of the list. It's gonna get better. Next up we have Blue Dubba Dee Dubba Die. People seem to think this song is so mysterious, and I'm here to tell you, I watched a documentary on it. This song is not mysterious. This dance is not mysterious. This is a basic song and a basic dance. So as I said, sometimes there are alternate versions of songs, like there'll be Juice by Lizzo, the normal version, and then Juice by Lizzo, the panda version, and then Juice by Lizzo, the cheerleader version. They love to have versions. I did Wake Me Up Before You Go-Go and somehow managed to do the giant emoji suit version. So they had to have a dance where they could be in giant emoji suits. So obviously the song is a banger, but the dance is a mess because they've got this range of movement and legs, basically. I feel like there's a very specific style of dancing, which is being a two to six year old at a dance concert and the moves they get you to do that they think you can pull off on stage as a two to six year old. And Just Dance quite often uses these dance moves. Ghostbusters is coming in at 92 on the list and it very much feels like you're doing in a Stedford and you're four years old and you're on stage for the first time and your teacher's down there doing the moves. Just reading my notes on what I said on Ghostbusters, someone was feeling clever. A total bust that you should ghost. Coming in at 92 is Istanbul. A cast of characters including a dolphin? A shark? Coming in at 
90 is Boogie Wonderland. It's b -b -b basic, but fun. And that's, that's all I'm giving you. J789 is Blinding Light. And it looks cool and it feels cool, but the moves they like, they go to the lyrics instead of to the beat and they're not consistent enough and you don't feel the like, the joy of dance when you do it. Good song, but yeah, you're coming in at 89. Funny that ones with the same problem seemingly end up together, because next at 88 is Rare, which is a song I didn't really know very well by Selena Gomez. It's a lovely song, and the, the way they've set it up is so beautiful. The costume on the girl, the like graphics behind you are stunning, but the dance itself is lame, and it feels like they've put all this like thought and attention into how the space looks and, and the, the world of the song. Forgetting that it, you got, it's called Just Dance. Uh, 87 is Boys by Lizzo. Now this one uses the technique that they sometimes use where they change the dancer as you go along. And because it's boys, you get all different types of boys. And the best boy is the little boy you get. He's so good. This one is a fine one. It's fine. It's not gonna be the one I'm gonna put on again. In fact, I'll probably never do it again. But I think while I was doing it, I had a good time, especially watching the boy. It's fine. It's coming in at 86, we have Ariana Grande's God is a Woman, obviously an amazing song. However, a very boring dance. If I wanna slowly move my arms up and down, I can go and stand in the wind. 85, we have Let Me Love You. Now, throughout the entirety of this dance, I certainly felt like my body was moving. However, not at one point did I feel as though I was dancing. <laughs> Next up at 84, we have Harry Styles with Adore You. I have to say, this one was kind of boring. It didn't really have a vibe going and the moves were easy, but there wasn't like a flow to them. So it felt hard in a way. There was one good move where you like made a little box, but I would say the whole dance is just taking itself too seriously. Very earnest, not cool enough, I'm afraid. God, they're gonna get better. <laughs> I'm gonna get nicer. <laughs> I love Just Dance. At 83, we have Katy Perry's Firework, which could be someone's favorite one. It has all of the makings to be a favorite one. My favorite thing about Just Dance is when you're doing the dance and you can't help but smile. And there are moments in this one where I couldn't help but smile. But overall, it just didn't do it for me, unfortunately. I thought it was a bit boring. At 82, we have Voulez Vu. Now they have all of ABBA on Just Dance, um, but Voulez Vu is the only one I believe I did. And the reason is, is I think they make the ABBA ones quite easy because they're assuming that the people doing them are of an older demographic. It's the mothers, I guess, they're assuming these dances are for. However, I will say you spend a lot of your time on your knees in this dance, which is such a just dance thing. They love getting you down and getting you back up. They love getting you to walk forward and then walk back. I do think the song is a banger and I had a lot of fun doing it. Next up at 81, we have One Kiss by Calvin Harris and Dua Lipa. And on, my notes on this say that, meh, good song, the moves aren't that fun. So then I just watched myself dancing to it. Um, and I would say it looks like the moves are fun and I'm having a good time. So I don't know which me to believe, but here we are. So coming in at 80, we have Alexandria, Alexandra by Jerome Francis. Now, I had low expectations on this one. When I put it on and watched the preview, I, I decided to do it so mostly I could roast it. However, the moves are pretty fun. It had a storyline, which for me and Just Dance, storylines either hit or they miss. And this storyline was fun. It was like a Illuminati, Egyptian fantasy. And at 79, we have Barbara Streisand, AKA Duck Sauce. Unlike the lady herself, this one was absolutely forgettable. Don't worry about this one. So at 78, we have Runaway. Now I was just talking about storylines and sometimes they hit, sometimes they miss. This one, a miss. They're both in like Morphtron suits in the future. And so you'd think the dancing would be like cool and modern, but it's not, it's like very lyrical. That being said, once again, a couple of funky moves. If you love the song, I'd say give it a whirl. If you don't, throw it in the bin. Next up we have Hit Me Baby by the girly team. There's a couple of times they do this where they have very famous songs by very famous artists, i.e. Britney Spears, but they have a cover of it. I guess it's for legal reasons. I just think that Britney's been through enough, so 
Let's give her credit, you know? Anyway, it was cute and fun. 76 was all about us by Jordan Fisher, a song that I had never heard before that sounds like a very mainstream pop song. Once again, they've put some effort in, they've got a storyline where you've got these three kids going into different dimensions. I think the graphics are cool, is what I'm trying to say. However, I just didn't feel this one. I feel like some dance moves are for you and some dance moves aren't for you and the dance moves in this one weren't for me. Coming in at 75, we have applause. Now I've been doing these dances over a few days during lockdown and some days were surely happier than other days. And I'm imagining when I did applause, it wasn't a good day because all I've written on, uh, under applause is average song, average dance. Could have been in a mood, but maybe I was just finally speaking my real truth. Hope I don't get in trouble. Next up is temperature, which I think is actually pretty fine. Once again, put in a storyline, you're on the slopes with your buddies, having a good time. Um, so you've got lots of dances that are like snow activities, I guess. Uh, I feel like some of the dance moves are pretty cool, but some of them are mostly just phoning it in. So coming in at 76 is All You Gotta Do Is Just Dance by the Just Dance Band. Now, for those of you who have played Just Dance before, you might have been in a situation where you're in a room of friends, congrats, and I imagine one of your friends would have said, oh, they should make a dance to this song. And I've in fact been in that exact situation and they do have a dance to this song and I danced it and I would say it's very Just Dance. The song is very fun and upbeat. There's a lot of clapping, which is very Just Dance. There's a lot of pointing, which we know Just Dance loves to point. Basically, they know the formula. They heat you up, they cool you down. It's pretty good. At 72, we have Fame, which is so basic, but I had so much fun, especially the bit where it goes Fame. I don't know if everyone would enjoy this one. I feel like you had to have a childhood where fame was important to you for some reason, which is the childhood I had. So if you've got that childhood, you might also rank this one at 72. Ooh, I've got some news for you. <laughs> yeah, go on and run, tell your little boy. And at 70 we have another sneaky legal title which is everybody in brackets back streets back by millennium alert everything about this is very confused you're dancing to a backstreet song cover and you're in a library and you look like a vampire pirate i guess the person i was dancing to had an eye patch for some reason i had a great time Coming in at Cheeky 69, we have Baby Girl. This one is a full body ride. <laughs> You're gonna use your whole body, is what I'm saying. Coming in at 68, we have Bad Liar by Selena Gomez, which is such a great song. And it's a cute little setup and dance, but I just I wasn't smiling. And I should have been smiling. If I like the song and I got a cute setup, I should be smiling, but I wasn't. Next up at 67, we have Circus. Now, while it was lovely to revisit some Britney Spears history, which I haven't revisited since I believe the song was released, I just didn't have fun doing this song. Coming at 66, we had Daddy Cool. Now, to be honest, when it comes to a Boney M song on Just Dance, I have very high expectations, and I hadn't done Daddy Cool before, but I went in hoping that it would be a raucous ride, and it wasn't. Next up was Birthday by Katy Perry. There's a lot of Katy Perry on Just Dance, and I think anytime you do a Katy Perry song, you know it's gonna be pretty solid, but it's not gonna shoot you to the sky. Like a firework. Next up is Can't Feel My Face by The Weeknd, and that is coming in at a clean 64. To give you some context, I have been pranked using this song before, so I have a weird relationship with the song. Next up is Want To Want Me by Jason Derulo. Now, as I said, you sort of form a connection with the dancer on the screen. You're like mirroring them. There's something special that happens with this white amorphous blob, which by the way, when they're filming these, I found out they're painted completely white. They're not just in the costume and then some graphic designer comes in and takes out the face. They're painted fully white. But I just didn't really connect to this guy. I feel like the way his body moved wasn't a way that my body can move. So at 62 we have Don't Start Now by Dua Lipa, which is obviously a great song, but a great song does not mean a great dance. 
With this song, however, I will say that half of it, no, I will say that the chorus is good, but the rest of it is just a snore fest. So at 61, we have All the Good Girls Go to Hell by Billie Eilish. I imagine you could do it a few times and learn the dance and that would be really satisfying. Obviously, I wasn't in a place to do that. I was ranking over a hundred Just Dance songs, um, so I was really just going through them all once. I've seen have Domino. Now, I don't believe there were many dance moves to be had, but I remember there was a lot of fun to be had. Coming in at 59, we have Bruno Mars' Uptown Funk. Very fun song, and this dance is an absolute feast for the senses. You've got lots of different styles, different dances, you've got lots of things going on in the background. If you're someone who needs ultimate stimulation, this one is for you. Um, I found it quite hard, honestly, but a lot of fun. Except we had Apache, in brackets, jump on it. Is this one cultural appropriation? I don't know. I don't know how to feel about this one. Going at 57, we have Era, which was, I believe, a Russian song. Um, another example of you getting to hear a song you might not have heard otherwise. And this one was pretty great. I really liked this one, actually. So next up, we have Cheap Thrills by Sia. Now my body just couldn't figure this one out. I don't know if your body can figure it out. I'm imagining this as user error on this one. So next up we have No Tears Left to Cry by Ariana Grande. Graphics are really cool, the song is obviously great. I just think the moves are a bit boring. Next up we have Havana, which is cute and sexy and sultry and you feel like a babe when you're doing it. If you're hanging out with someone and you want to impress them, maybe this is the dance to do because you'll be moving your hips, you'll be moving your body. You'll be a babe. At 53 we have Cotton Eye Joe, which is obviously a divisive song. I have been at a party once where we're all sitting down and someone got on a microphone and said that they were gonna play the song, which was the only song that they knew would absolutely get us all up and dancing. And they played Cotton Eye Joe and everyone was up and dancing within seconds. At 52, we have Con Karma by Daddy Yankee. This is the Venn diagram center of Just Dance. You've got the panda, you've got an upbeat song, you've got fun repetitive dance moves, you've got friendship, it's simple, it's it's what Just Dance should be. Well done Just Dance. Sorry for uh, disparaging so many of your other dances before. I'm here to say well done. So at 51 we have Crucified by Army of Lovers. I had never heard this song before. I don't know if everyone knows this song except me and I've missed a cultural phenomenon. But this song is a banger and I love it so much. The storyline is fun, it's super campy. I imagine if you were dancing with other people you would have a wonderful time. Crucified, yeah. Get, get on it. <laughs> do it. Just do it. Next up is Fancy by Iggy Azalea and Charlie XCX. Now, the girls who are dancing this, despite being painted entirely white, are so cool. And just watching them dance and how good they are is worth it to do this, to do, to do this song. It is fun. It's a good song. You'll have a great time. But mostly, you're in it for the girls. Next up, we have the correct version of Despacito. It's a, it's great. It's very fun. Love Jimmy. It was Billie Eilish Bad Guy. Now full disclosure, I did a different version of Bad Guy, which was the extreme version, and I I had to stop it. It was too hard. I couldn't keep up. I was I was I was a mess. Uh, this was the easy version, and I'll say most of the moves weren't mm, dance moves really. Great song. Had a great time. Choose the easy version. <laughs> Next up we have Ice Cream by Selena Gomez and Blackpink. I think K-pop songs are perfect for Just Dance. There's a spirit of dance in them already, so the vibe is good, the dances are cool. I feel like K-pop is, is the right direction to go for Just Dance. I had a great time. At 46, we have California Girl. A lot of Katy Perry on Just Dance. I believe this was my favorite one, possibly. I think I really liked the dancer. I thought she was super cute, super fun, super good. If you're gonna do a Katy Perry one, do this one. At 45, of course, we have Party Rock Anthem by LMFAO. There's really not much to say about this one. The moves are cool. Once you get them, you feel really specky. It's classic just dance, upbeat fun, repetitive cool moves, five stars. No, not five stars. <laughs> it's 45 out of 100. 45 out of 100. At 44, we have Nicki Minaj's Outbreak Hit. Outbreak Hit? Breakout Hit. <laughs> We're in a pandemic. Super bass. It was cute and it was fun, but it didn't have me smiling the whole time. 
I really will judge a song based on how much I smile during it because uh, Just Dance hits when I can't stop smiling the whole time. At 43, we have Hey Ya by Outkast. This dance is super fun, great vibe, great moves. I had a great time. I think it's, I think it's an absolute banger. Next up, we have the number one song of the summer of 2015, which is of course Cheerleader by Omi, which is it's, it's very fun. It's very cute. I imagine it would be very fun to do in a group. Next up, we had Blow Your Mind in brackets Moi by Dua Lipa. This one was pretty good. My favorite bit was when you got to go Moi. Next up at, at a clean 40, we had Boom Clap by Charlie XCX. I wrote here straight after I did it. Very antsy teenager choreography, an important piece for school assembly. Regardless to say, I loved it. Took me a while to get it. At 39, we had The Weekend by Michael Gray. This is a classic Just Dance. So fun. Um, you've got two boys, they're at work, they can't wait for the weekend to begin. Mostly what I appreciate about this song is the friendship that these two boys have. We've got a real soft spot for friendship in any form. Um, <laughs> Uh, and I just think that their camaraderie was really sweet and wonderful to be a part of for those few minutes I was dancing with them. 38, we've got New Rules by Dua Lipa. Now, I feel like this one was perfectly basic and perfectly fun. I think it was a really good, a really good Just Dance dance. Next up we had Diggy, another song I probably would have never known about uh, without the magic of Just Dance. Very fun, wonderful time. Obviously had me dancing to the diggity diggity dawn. At 36 we had De Gomba by Sorcerer. Um, and this was so cute, so fun, had the best time. Try it. <laughs> At 30, 35 we have the catch-up song, Take Me Back. The catch-up song existed and we were at discos and, and life was great. So at 34, we have Jumbo Mumbo. This was super fun, it was so hard. I love this one. I would love to keep doing this one over and over again to get good at it, because it was so wonderful. At 33, we have Without Me by Eminem. When I was in year five, I loved Eminem so much. I listened to all of his songs all the time, knew all of the words to all of the songs, understood none of it. Without Me, not a song you would, you would expect to dance to. I didn't have high expectations when I started, but by the end, you've forgotten about the beginning and you're just having a really great time with your friends. So 32, we have Ain't My Fault. That I wrote straight after it was, yeah, you feel like a fool or badass. It's fun. At 31, we have The Greatest by Sia. It's very Sia, it's very fun. You feel like you're Maddie Ziegler dancing in a cage with Shia LaBeouf, I guess. At 30, we have Drop the Mumbo by Diva Carmina. Mm, yes, this one is so good, it's so hard. This is another example of a one that I will smile through the entire way. You'll have a wonderful time. It might not be one that you choose because you don't know the song, but I tell you what, pick some that you don't know, particularly if they're in a different language because just Dance does a great job with them, and you'll you'll just have a good time. I mean, moving right ahead, with the exact same feelings, you have Carnival Boom, Latino Sunset, and the, the same thing. You'll smile the whole time, you'll have a great time, your body will move in ways, you didn't know it could move. You'll feel free, you'll feel fine, you'll feel sassy, you'll feel fun. It'll be great. God, we're getting, we're getting up now, and all of the songs are gonna be good from here on out. I'm not gonna have anything bad to say anymore, I don't think. We're gonna have, it's, it's all positive shake off the negatives we're in positive town am i wrong by nico and vince this one is great it's super fun i wouldn't recommend it if you're trying to impress someone with your moves but otherwise i think it's great next up we have better when i'm dancing which is a song i don't think i knew maybe i did is it at the end of zootopia i feel like it's at the end of an animated movie it has that vibe about it where everything is wrapped up and all of the characters are happy and everything is going to be okay forever. And that's really the sense you get when you're doing this song. At 26 we have Bon Bon, another Russian song that I would have never heard otherwise. Another banger. Um, super fun, repetitive moves. You'll have a good time. Try it out. Next time we had Cake by The Ocean, which of course had an underwater narrative. Super repetitive. At times I would say almost too repetitive. I almost felt like I was getting into a trance at some moments. It was so repetitive. But you just let it happen and, and who knows, by the end you could be enlightened, so it's worth it. Whoa, it's taken this long to get to another Bang Bang song. This is Bang Bang. Uh, <laughs> this is a highly rated Bang song. It's great, especially if you're in a group. Get your friends together and, and bang it out. 
Next up was the cute little duo of The Way by Ariana Grande and Mac Miller. This one is precious. It's almost too cute. It's sickly sweet and it's lovely. A lot of pointing, classic Just Dance. Um, do it with your lover or a, a lovely friend and you'll have a great time. Next up is White Noise by Disclosure. I was pretty impressed they had a Disclosure song in Just Dance and the graphics are really cool, the dances are really cool. I will say the dance felt a bit like a tongue twister for your body, like it was really hard to get it. But once you did get it, you felt like a superstar. You felt so cool, but at any moment you could lose it. Just because you had it didn't mean you had it, you know? I'd like to do this one a few more times, I reckon. So at 21, we have Seven Rings by Ariana Grande. It's a banger, the moves are simple. I recommend doing this in a group more than by yourself because there's the classic just dancing of they make you sort of shuffle around a bit. I'm gonna stop saying I recommend at the end of all these ones because obviously we're at the creme de la creme of just dance and so it goes without saying that I highly recommend everything from here. 20, we have Juice by Lizzo, another smash hit. It's a very uh, workout vibe, this one, which is really fun, which is a storyline that makes sense for this song. You're in, you're not in. The dance is in a uh, cute little tight lycra. Great vibe, super fun. At 19, we've got Finesse by Bruno Mars and Cardi B. This one was cool, the dances are so cool, what they're wearing is so cool, at times you feel cool. This one's a banger. I've been avoiding saying a lot of words in this video because I'm worried about butchering them and I'm not even gonna try this one. I'll just put it down below as to what this song is called. I loved this one. The graphics are super fun, the song was super good, the moves are really cool. They've hit it out of the park. At whew, 17, we have Swish Swish. This one was so fun. The moves are so fun. So at 16, we have another one by It's the Dust by Queen. This is what Just Dance is great at. Fun, repetitive moves. Do it in a group. You'll have a great time. At 15, we have Kill This Love by Blackpink. Another K-pop banger. Just Dance doing exactly what it needs to be doing. I will say this one was pretty hard. I imagine I would like to redo it a few times to get really good at it, and then I would feel like a bad boss bitch. At 14, we have Bad Boy. I love this one. Another undiscovered banger. If I was to show this game to someone and I was gonna dance with them, I might put this one on. It's a perfect mixture of not too hard, but hard enough, fun, fun, <laughs> repetitive, Guaranteed to be smiling, having a good time when you do it. I love this one. What can I say? Ooh, at unlucky number 13, we have I Like It, a banger. Chorus move is the best. As I said, from here, they're all great. At number 12, we have Blurred Lines, which I would say is a song that I'm not a fan of. So I probably went in with it with maybe low expectations, but I had so much fun. It's great. The moves wonderful. The friendship, even better. The vibe, terrific. It just proves you don't even have to like the song. Oh, I love this one so much. At 11, we have Bubble Pop. Another song that I had never heard um, before now by Hayuna. Yes, 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 yes. This one is so fun. Speaking of undiscovered bangers, the next one was a song that I absolutely new and have known my entire life, but only recently, thanks to Just Dance, realized that I love this song. And the song is, will you believe it? Can't take my eyes off of you. And there's just something about it that, that stirs something in me. And I didn't know that until recently. I, I can also imagine some people might find this one to be a bit lame and I understand it completely. But for me, it just hit my heart. I had a wonderful time. I discovered a song I love. The girl was really sweet in it. It, it made my heart sing. At number nine, we're in single digits, baby. We have Don't Stop Me Now. The dance is as chaotic as the song. I felt like I was a step behind the entire time, but I didn't care. I was having such a wonderful time. We are barreling through. We're almost at the end. We're at number eight, where we had Calypso, and oh, I love this one. <laughs> this one was so fun. Moves felt cool in your body. Oh, it's just good. It's good. Wholesome, fun. I love the next one. Obviously, I love the next one. <laughs> We're in the top ten, but at seven we've got Bela. So when this one started, I was I didn't have high expectations because the storyline was a guy at a gas station and 
that doesn't inspire a lot of hope. But by the end, oh god, I was having such a good time. So he's at he's at the gas station, he's there alone, he's doing his dance, but then it turns into nighttime and it's a party and all the tires are dancing and you're dancing and he's dancing and it's so fun. Oh, another sweet friendship dream uh, at number six is You Can't Hurry Love by The Supremes. Oh, it's just so sweet. There were two women and they were clearly, they clearly loved each other and the, and the dance is really sweet and fun and the song is really sweet and fun. Another one where I just couldn't stop smiling. At number five, we have A Little Party Never Killed Nobody. And here's the twist, is I did the easy and hard version of this one. So number five actually has two dances to it. It was so fun. I didn't really feel like the difficulty was very different. They both were kind of the same and both kind of great. Oh, and the hard one had a lift in it, I believe. I was by myself, so I didn't get to do the lift. But if you were with two other people and you managed to get a lift, can you imagine how well that would go down? Okay, next up is the Packer Dance. And I can imagine some people might think this one is truly and utterly lame, but hear me out. Just Dance knows what they're doing. This song is so fun. They've got the panda, they've got the silly moves. It's harder than you think it's gonna be, and it's so fun. At number three, we have Rain On Me, a song I don't believe I really liked until Just Dance. And I'd heard it a lot, but I needed to hear it in the context of doing a Just Dance to it in order to really, truly appreciate it. This one is certified hit. At number two, we have Footloose, which is so fun, so good. And the great thing about this one is that it escalates. So as the song goes on, you cut more and more loose. It's super tiring, this one, um, as you do gradually cut more and more loose, but you're just having so much fun, you don't care. I believe this will make you drenched from head to toe with sweat, and by the end, you'll be completely loose. But what a journey. Part right, number one, which is Rust Be Dead by Boney M. Now I'm gonna level with you. I knew this would be the winner even before I started this silly charade. In the past, I used to have a Just Dance. I think Just Dance 2 and Rasputin was on it. And I did this one on repeat because it's so good. The moves are so fun. They're repetitive enough that you can get it. They're hard enough that it's fun to do. It's like Russian dancing. The song is a banger. It's exactly what Just Dance needs to be. Uh, th th they've nailed it with this one. They've absolutely nailed it. If you were ever gonna do just one dance on Just Dance, just do this one. This is the one to do. It's absolutely the best. It's so fun. It's wonderful. It's number one. <laughs> and I feel very strongly about this. And I, and I think I've proven to you over the course of this very long video, thanks for still being here, but I feel very strongly about Just Dance in general. Thank you so much for watching, especially for watching to the end. You're a superstar. Actually, no, in the words of Just Dance, you're a megastar. Hope you have a great day. If you're quarantining, I hope you can find a project to get you through. I know the world is pretty intense at the moment, um, and so it's nice to sometimes take some time to <laughs> Just Dance. Thank you and goodbye.